Everyone, welcome to this new episode. That was really loud. Of uh, throwback, I think that's what we ended up calling this. We're watching the game two against Energy Sports from the spring split. Quick recap: We basically we're gonna watch every game from the spring and like the Lana's fault before we go to Worlds. Watch one every day on stream, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tradition here. It's not in hindsight. In hindsight, I actually try hard here, I just kind of sit and watch the game, you know, I chill while I do this. This, ooh, this is the Honbats game. I'm playing Amy again. So Capri's proxying the wave. They, well, they're starting Dolphin with the Capri in solo, and we're starting... We're starting uh, Cobra. Meeting two obey members who are looking to This was really awkward. We still got it though. Yeah, it's about the zone here coming out from Obey. They just wanted to keep Emilzi out of the conversation, or excuse me, Emilito out of the conversation by way of Emilzi. This is so awkward because we want to stop him doing red. Uh, we'll, we will do the giveaway after this game, okay? I can maybe set it up meanwhile. We don't want him to do his own red, but we also want to farm, you know, so now we can do his red. The whole point of us doing the small star is that we're gonna hit level there. Level 2. Oh, this is Zeus Hunbats throwback. Uh, we'll do hashtag masters to enter the giveaway. And uh, Andrew Spam is all on subscribers, so 10 more times likely to win. There you go, chat. Quite oh. he's a bit Joe! Joe! No! No! Yeah. Rip. <coughs> I remember at this point we were like, what is going on? Hello, hello. High impact character, like mm. I said. Dimmy poised to make a return. Dimmy and, like I said, adapting. I, I think the the one guy on energy is kind of a kind of a fallacy. But everybody always points to adapting, and that's who when going gets tough. Energy lean on adapting. They're a team. team oh, Kidder got the first blood as well. Last game, he had one speed so the weird. Entire time. The team shifts their strategy this time around to ensure that this Mercury can get off the ground. Not only adapting, but the character selection as well. They need to assist them in the early game. They've made the adaptation, and that's why they've been so strong. I can't remember what really happens this game, so it'll be interesting to look back at it. We just have Ula Amy again, full pressure. He's an army going crit again. Armor man. This is like Ulla before he got buffed as well. <laughs> like he he's been played the whole year, and Iris just decided to buff him because they got a skin coming out. And don't tell me they didn't buff him because he doesn't have a skin coming out. That's so bullshit. Has to get the beads there. It's kind of unfortunate. I don't know what the explanation is this time. It's like Ulla is overperforming in a or underperforming in arena. Therefore, we have to give him a buff. What the fuck is that Isa start? <laughs> Could really get back in. Matt was busted, man. Matt was like 15% of. Was it 25% of your health or something? That <laughs> Bane are just kind of chilling, like, what are you doing? This looks like a speed invade, or not? Yeah, yeah, holy shit, we're actually invading speed. Even though Maniac has no mana. LOL. I'm fine here, right? I'm out here, right? I can't remember. Oh no, this is where I fuck up. Oh yeah, I remember this. I fucked this up so hard. Like, I don't use my two. So it becomes such a bad fight. And we get a free before one there. That was so bad. Ay, ay, ay. I should have just backed. Looking back here. 
I remember this now. From both teams there. The best news is for energy though. They managed to get themselves in a bit of a better position. They could have potentially caused a couple more problems there. I don't they think there's going to be a patch 425. I think it's going to be patch 500 or 501 or whatever. Nate is just doing Nate things here, stealing buffs. Wow. This is one Celestial Legion helmet was like OP as well. 45 first prod, 15 pen and like 30 power. Mm -mm -mm, 1700 gold. Really smart into like Amy as well. Not feeling bad despite having no kills. Had her like one and her three got got nerfed. Oh. Have to remind you about the bloodbath that was in game number one. These oracles are both gonna go the way of obey that. That's really nice. Get them up early. Around these oracle fights, you have to reset it a lot earlier than you think. You right. can't hold on to them too much because as they're resetting, somebody else can aggro them by being in the pit with them, and you end up losing them. Exactly what happened there. That mm. situation has to be identified a little bit earlier by all the teams going forward. <laughs> here is, they need to repair Poor Joe, man. He's not got enough mana for kill here, unfortunately, but it could have been close. Ah, uh, Dimmy doesn't have ult. What am I doing? I'm poking, dude. Strong play is coming out so far from uh, from Dimmy. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, poking. You, you give him a that he can yeah, I will. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway uh, again. Snipers, you have that. won the giveaway. Do you want the Ganesha skin? The oh shit! Oh yeah, this is when oh, Maniac Duke the old. Yes, boys, that was beautiful. Great rotation from Twig. That was absolutely on point. That's why you saw the hesitation coming out from uh, the guys on energy. To really oh, he didn't have beats for like 20 seconds of that thing. Damn. I can't believe Isanami was played. Like, this is before she got buffed as well. He did everything he had to in that perfectly. Throw out the monkey, got in range. First time win? Do you so want it? I Congratulations, we, man. Tomorrow, uh, same time at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we'll be doing the North American broadcast with our, with our four or eight teams, rather, our four matchups. And one of the big trends in North America is a ton of new mid laners that have shifted over from different positions. Now, Captain Twig shifted from mid into the jungle, and this is going to be his second full season in the jungle. And in season, mm. the first, his first approach was slow. He was all right, right? And we gradually got to see him turn better into now. He's a fantastic. Oh, Raffer is so caught here. That's a really, really good uh, healing ult, though. I'm just staying on him there to get his stuff. Meditation, man. OP. Oh, this huge damage. I miss Amy so much, man. That aggression right there. Net worth and XP per minute. More. Oh, they're like grouping around this. Defensively to get away from the dangerous situation. So it was a big win for energy there. Energy goes ahead, grabs a mealzy. There's another grab onto a mealzy, tossed into the friendly range. Holy Zeus damage, dude. This is really good because we can do gold off this. Uh, oh, yeah. That's really sick, actually. That was fucking perfect. I baited myself and Primo got the hot ult. Oh, Rafa. No, no, no. Nice. Look. That's gold. Oh, Emilito had to beat as well. It's like 11 third on his beat. I think they're going to get gold. It is because obviously it is. Bam. Much is This is a normal story. Yeah. You see energy in. If they're on a deficit and they do lose a game, it's normally by a margin like this with 
a war of attrition. Not like game one, which was they got run over. And and you <laughs> This is very old. This is like almost. They, is it like they, nine they, months ago or something? Um, I would still pick meditation, but the thing is, Antil is so fucking OP right now, so like, it's rough at times. Oh, I almost have full Sheila regrowth. Start zooming. As long as it's not as devastating as it was last game, Energy can look up to a 5,000 gold lead and just say, look, we can come back. They're very good at realizing power spikes, Energy. It's one of the things they're always good at, whether it's an item power spike for a team member, a relic power spike of it being down or up. Or the classic a monkey bounce. And I'm just you know as aggressive as well. Oh, here cast the room room as well. Arguably the best players in the league at that time. Margaret of Vanguard was so broken back then. It's like against Capri as well. I mean, Amelzy goes all the way back to Lodge Tournament when he was a coach. Yes. Let's say not Lodge Tournament, um, Lodge of the Pro League, I should say, of Season 1. And he had a good time. Maybe next a bit of trouble here, though. Left alone, but Twig's hanging around with the to stop an energy from doing anything happening. Gen Snipers, I'll send you the skin the when this the the game is over, dude. Right here. Oh. On a, on a, a very yeah, he's done in mid, though. That trade is great for Obey. They realize there was pressure Ooh. right, so they commit mid and pick up. Ah, Maniac. Ah, Rafa can ult there. That's perfect. Nate is here as well, so we should just get the uh, Rafa and then. Oh, Armor ult is so sick in those situations. It's gonna be a big, he's an army ult. Realizing they can split apart and pick two part targets at the same time. They win the trade in mid, they go even on the trade in right until the extra rotation comes in from the team that won in the mid lane. Is Magad of Angad still good? Very game specific situations, it, it's alright. But otherwise, it's just delaying your build, so it's not really the best. This is the favorite, it's favorite, favorite story to tell. Spots, ward spots, strategies, and then of course the notebook of fixed bands, which has become the norm now, but certainly wasn't at the time. Yep. That approach to the game is very similar to what Ataraxia does, and they're able to just... I really want my blue buff. <laughs> perspective than a lot of I want my blue. And you take out the control now, you can see that they're still trying to exploit the situation with the small lead they've gathered by continuing to try and steal away buffs now in the jungle. Right. Nine blue from Hercules, very important to do that as the mana cost on Hercules is a little bit more, and when you can see Emilzy is only one level down against the Adapting as a warrior support here, it does add added pressure to the team of energy. He should just die here, right? And just completely annihilate you, we have a 4 0 Hunbud, dude. That is not what you want to see if you're on the enemy team. Rafa is gonna die here. I'm just gonna ult him, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good that I'm a thruster. <laughs> that was so good! That's the production. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> just fucking maniac, dude. Oi, oi, oi. One, two, three, four, five. They fucked up with the interview, though. I can't say anything, or like. Mercury now five one and two. Oh, he's got the booties and he's got and he's got the stone cutter sword. These next couple of items are is, is going to be where adapting becomes scary and this can turn around. Thirteen on the clock and a three thousand gold lead for Obey. I tell you what, when you saw Prime near that speed buff, then and adapting was one angle. Dimmy was the other, and you're like, goodbye, Prime. <laughs> but adapting didn't notice it. Dimmy didn't notice yeah. it. And in the end, Prime gets out scot free. If they watched any, both teams watched this tape, they're like, God, Prime, you got lucky there. <laughs> You should have been dead for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No vision quite there. As I said, Obey leading for I don't know, Mr. Photo. Gold, 2400 to be specific. And the key now is the next goal fury. This next goal fury yeah. is very important for both the two teams. It reestablishes the lead that Obey had based off how the game's been going so far and make sure that the work that energy just did is denied. 
However, if Energy takes this next goal, Fury, it brings us back to a square game where we start to look towards hyper carries again as the game continues. And I mean, you know, even even without the hyper carry game, like I said, this is this is Energy. They they are content being two to three thousand gold down. There's not a team that can play from behind as if they were even as well as energy, I think, in the entirety of the league. For the time being, though, Obey just has to wait for the right moment for this goal period, in my eyes, and hey, yeah, have yeah. a fight with energy again. They're in a good enough position for it. If they actually realize now that Maniac has <laughs> teleport up and Dimmy doesn't, they can make a play. It's kind of interesting, yeah. On the left -hand side, which will come into it as well. <laughs> or once again, maybe look to pick off Rafa. Mm. They've been doing that pretty consistently this game, finding Rafa in awkward spots where he's been isolated and left by his team. Uh, America's really fat. <laughs> Or his team and then Lita is really fair. The yeah, it's been, uh, it's been the majority of the situation there. Uller, Look at the blink. The like, Fatalis. So Fatalis has been picked up a little bit more at a 10 penetration on it now. It's not just a, a, a passive stick as it once was. So you'll Look how fast this goal is dropping. 30% so far. Raffer's going to Greg pretty prime. This is going to be the start of the fight. Great ultimate from the jungler. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm peeling. Bam. Bam. He's sown from the Sousaws. Melzy picks up one as Ataraxia gets another, and now Mercury is on his own. The boulder comes through. One tap on oh, Twig. Twig. Strike. Dimmy will not pick up the ah. kill and be turned on as well. Four members of energy are dead. Obey. Oh, yeah, I'm just Alive. like, Oi, get it. Captain Twig there to hit the beads and make sure to jump away before the inevitable uh, Earthbreaker. Absolutely out of control coming out from the jungle. Oh, yeah, this was the call to go fire. I remember this. Like, fire, gold. Exactly what you might expect, but kind of in a weird order. Why the CDR late after the power? Well, hey, do you have an idea? I just want to see if Adapting first of all is going to try and really contest this. I mean, this is a breaking point of the game. If I need to swap stance, man. Energy's in a lot of trouble here, but I think Adapting just doing enough by standing here to slow this down. Yeah, he's definitely slowing it down with Raffer showing up. This is a big situation. Oh my God, Fire that FD. Get some knockups, but Adapting will be the one to fall. Raffer we can just do portal quickly. now and then get fire. Oh, no way we're going to keep on FD here. Nah, this is so bad. They're going to seal us, right? Ah. That was so risky. Maniac, Joe. Trying to run him out here with the speed. Ah, oh, unfortunate. We can probably go here. Still, with the fire giant intact. Energy Ooh. cannot respond to 5,000 gold behind plus the FG. Things are looking bleak for the defending I'm, world champs. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to ever seeing energy in this spot so much where I'm like, oh my, they really might yeah. lose this set. Are they really oh. going to lose it? Even at Worlds, I never really felt that. Was so like, close. Oh my, they might lose this set right now. Oh my! What they is, might lose this set. What is, we have been focusing on Obey to a, for for good reason i think that obey my two cents hindu is that i think obey is doing very very well here but what's different on the side of energy what's the problem here i don't think there is a huge problem on the side of energy this is both teams trying it's to just a classic f that he doesn't really like obey too much he's like a main deck fan and that's kind of it the biggest take home I can say from this game and the game one as well. Like I really like after. I think he's a good caster. I think he's slightly biased towards certain teams riding with the wave, you know. He's definitely good for smite. The roster is actually really impactful in these team fight skirmishes when you're playing at the top level. I'm, I'm going to go on the other side of things and I, I want to see how you feel about this. I don't see the same impact that MVP Yamin. I don't see him having the same impact in these two games that we have in the past. Well, game one and game two, he's both his ultimates and pretty much on point when he's had to. Sure. But he's not really had the support because the pressure is not as much around holding hands with the mid laner as much as it <laughs> used to be. But I'll tell you this, you know, on the Vulcan, sure. Aye, aye, aye. Biden is a playmaker early. And we just didn't see those plays get made. It can be, but like I said, if the focus is not on the mid lane anymore and elsewhere... Yeah, no, Nate. I know. But like, it's it's always what are they doing wrong and not what is Obey doing right. Like, that's... If that was still saying, like, even after false pit, where we, we haven't lost 
any set. Like, we haven't even tied with Dignitas. We've only beat them. And he's still like, well, Dignitas is the best team in the world. He said that the whole year. And like, sure, I don't... That fucking... That... That rock gun vault. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, Maniac, and Maniac didn't have the fire giant there if I remember correctly because yeah. he just died at the end of the fire giant in day journey. So they don't even lose a fire giant before that. They get the cleanup of the oracles on the left as well. Great work from Obey just to continue to keep energy at bay. I'm. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. Like, of course, it didn't be the favorites, but it's always the. What is the winning team doing bad? Red Or the best, better team doing bad? Or well, the previously better team doing. Uh, bad and not what is this team doing good, you know? It's not like literally no one talked about Amaterasu's support, or like no one talked about the impact, the kept and like the comp we have, you know? It, all the talk is about what's going wrong with energy, it's not what's going right for Obey, and I think it's they're painting a wrong picture of how the game is going, honestly. I think that you can defend on a tier 2 tower, it's just a matter of can energy execution. get there before Obey. Execution is difficult of it, but it is the world champ, so... Too tilted to stream? I had some rough games today. I don't know, I'm not playing very well right now. I'm really sad about it. Oh, that should be a dead raffle, man. I'm just fucking zoning. Look at all that target switch. Bam. I say he gets prime. Oi, yo, yo. Good night, Timmy, dude. Two members down now on the side of Energy with Maniac now up on the front lines as well. He can tank up a little bit with a minion wave coming in. The Phoenix on the right is going to fall here for Obey. I really miss Amy, man. I love that. That was a good victory for Obey overall. Yes, Ella. Let's go. Not go for this one. If Energy want to respond, Obey's over 10 grand up. They can take the fight, but realistically, Energy, I like the defense on the other side. It just didn't work. I don't like the defense here. Neither does Energy. They'll slink back and wait for the Phoenix fight. They are really expensive. I'm going to agree to that. But if you're going to go and buy a football jersey, it's the same price. It's even more pricey, you know? Don't sell your fish before they're in the That's just a thing with, like, merchandise. The fish are in the boat right now. I'm on the phone. Right now, going, hey guys, does anyone buy my fish? That's, that's how I, I, don't, I, I don't know about that. You, you, you gotta go, you gotta get, you gotta then, do and it. And then, if something goes wrong, I'm, I'm a fucking hello, lag. Hello, oh, yeah, this is where they chase Maniac, right? And he just walls himself off, and we win the game. Yeah, this is sick. So he walls himself off here to buy time. And I'd get in just in time to peel for Primo. Oh, I got like a five no minutes on there. Jesus Christ. Nils and Nate running people down. The Ula name it is. What the fuck? That's game by F6. Also, that was a bit of a fun one to look back at, honestly. I don't know who we're playing next. I can't remember. I think it's like old burrito or whatever they're called. But uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Throwback. We'll be back again tomorrow. And until then. Peace out. And like and subscribe and all that stuff. Goodbye. Nils out.